Alright, what is up everybody? Logic Gaming back today. We are actually going to be making a tutorial video for you guys today on the graphics that I personally use in Grand Theft Auto 5M online. And to do this, we're going to have to download a couple things and then uh, get right on into it. So first thing you guys are going to need to go download um, is the Awesome Kills Graphics Final. I will have this link, the link for Reshade and WinRAR, down below in the description. So once you download that, it's going to be a WinRAR file or any type of archive opener that you have will work. We will go ahead and open that and I will double click right into Awesome Kills Graphics Mod. And double click into Mod Files and we will leave it right there. And we're going to go ahead and minimize this. The next thing you guys are going to have to download is going to be Reshade Me. Reshade dot me, so we're going to click download. Download reshade. It's going to pop up down here. Let it uh, let it run. We're going to go ahead and open that up, and it's going to say select the game or application to manage its reshade installation. You're going to click on that. Do not select it through here. Go to browse and choose your GTA 5.exe launcher for 5M. So for me, uh, mine is located in my D drive, wherever you can access it through Steam. So for me, it's gonna be my D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, GTA 5, and it's gonna be this GTA 5, and it'll, sometimes it'll say .exe. Make sure you do not click on a launcher but it is this one right here. You will click open. And then it says which rendering API does Grand Theft Auto 5 use? You want to make sure you guys select Direct 3D 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to select that. It's going to pop up with this list. Make sure everything on here is checked. We're going to hit OK. is going to say it was successfully installed so we can go ahead and close out of that close out of all this and what we'll need to do now before it is quite enabled for you is we need to go into the directory once again so steam steam apps common the grand theft auto 5 and you should see a bunch of files in here and if you guys look there is a dxdi.dll that needs to be renamed d3d10.dll. So you're going to want to rename this file to d3d10 and hit enter. And I already have reshade in here, so I'm just simply going to get rid of that. And that'll take care of reshade. Now we're going to leave this directory open and we're going to get into our uh, mods that we downloaded, the Awesome Kills graphics mods. So now we have to grab a couple files out of here. We do not use the entire thing. What we need to do is grab the ENB series.ini and the ENB local.ini. So just these two files. And we're going to click and drag them right into our directory. I already have it so we'll just leave it so now we can exit out of that as we will be done go down here to start search run do percent app data percent click OK click app data local and you're gonna want your 5m 5m application data we're gonna go to citizen common data time cycles so if we go back to this awesome kills graphics mod we're gonna go to time cycles and we're simply gonna highlight all these click and drag this over and replace them and that is that we are done with the graphics mod and reshade me now to make sure that reshade is working we're gonna go ahead and open up 5m And if it is working, we will see it pop up at the top. Something about reshade, you'll get a gray bar. So 
So I got this gray bar. Reshade is installed. So if we hit the home key, this is reshade. All these are different uh, things you can click on to adjust your background. So like if I take adaptive off or a couple of these other ones, my stuff in the background changes a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see it. These graphics you will have to mess on your own to find out what works for you guys. Um, if you guys want help with that, you guys can click the link down below, join my Discord, and I can help you with that. Post comments, questions, or anything on the video. But uh, that is going to be that, and that is going to be the graphics that I use for Grand Theft Auto 5M. And uh, we'll show you a couple screenshots that I have using this mod. Um, so here's one of them. Everything's crisp and clean. That is another one. So there's some good photos and good enhancements and stuff like that with this mod. So, all right, guys, everyone have a great day. Peace out. Stay logical, guys, and see you all in the next one.